Welcome guys, and today we're going to be talking about the Rogue Boneyard Bars. I only figured it'd be appropriate if I wore this shirt for this video, but when you guys go ahead and buy a barbell, that's probably the one thing that you're going to want to spend money on. As you guys clicked on this video, hoping to find a cheap Rogue Barbell, and this is what I mean when I say that. These Rogue Boneyard Bars are probably your best option when you're trying to save money with Rogue. If you guys aren't familiar with the Rogue Boneyard Bars, it's basically just a graveyard for all the bars that Rogue makes, and they have like a blemish or something. So obviously it's not going to be 100% brand new when you do go ahead and buy it. But if there's just like a chip on the coating or something, they're just going to toss it to the Boneyard and uh, someone else buys it for a substantial discount. This bar right here is the uh, Rogue Echo Bar, but you can get pretty much any bar in the Boneyard. But there are all different types of bars in the Boneyard. Like if you go to the Boneyard right now and look, it's not going to be the same as like a month from now. Um, they do switch it out. I was a little bit skeptical when I first purchased the Boneyard Bar. After using it for a couple months, I really don't know why you would buy a new one. Um, it's just going to get beat up anyways, and you can get this for a fraction of the price. Um, honestly, if anyone's looking, I tell them the Boneyard. Unless you just have a bunch of money to spend and you want to go buy like a new Cerakote bar or something, I'd honestly probably look in the Boneyard. Most of the time, the bar you get is going to be almost brand new. Obviously, like I said before, stuff like the sleeves are going to be scratched or like just little marks like that. doesn't really bother me, but that stuff's all just cosmetic. I know it's a good bar. It's Rogue. And overall, if you want to buy a bar from Rogue, this is probably one of your best options if you're looking to save money. Um, you can save upwards of like a hundred dollars just going to the boneyard but I was just making this video for some of you guys that are just getting into like lifting or something and you're looking for a bar and maybe you came across Rogue and you're like oh it's super expensive there's a lot of people I talk to they don't know about the boneyard honestly I didn't know it either until I started getting into it a little more but that's basically how you get a cheap Rogue barbell um, save yourself a bunch of money go with the boneyard you won't regret it really, the only thing different on it is the end caps that's a boneyard um, so it's not gonna say like Ohio bar or something, but that's not too big of a deal You're not looking at the end caps anyways when you're lifting. Um, let me know you guys thoughts on the boneyard bars down in the comments and uh, That's pretty much it. Peace